Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Real happy to be bringing you guys another lesson. I'm going to break this one down for you, zoom in, show you all the chords. And, uh, you know, it's not too hard except for the bridge is a bunch of bar chords. But other than that, all the other sections you can totally pull off with the, just the basic chords. So should it should be fun for all. Um, also, GuitarJams.com, my website. Uh, you can try the website out for free for two whole weeks. Uh, link down there below this box. I really appreciate that extra support. Uh, but anyway, let's zoom in and we'll work on this one right now. Here we go. Okay, so we have a C chord. And then we want an F chord. And it goes like this to start. C, C, F, F. C, C, F, F. C twice as long. F. Starts again. C, C, F, F. C, C, F, F. C twice as long. F. Okay. And I, those last Fs, I'm playing with the A in the bass. That's why it looks like that when I'm playing it at the end of the cycle. Now I go back to the regular F again, and it goes like this. F to E minor. F E minor. A minor to D7. A minor to 7. So once again. F E minor. A minor to 7. F again. F. Now instead of E minor, it's E7, which is the second fret there. First fret on the G string. E7 that second time to A minor to G. And that whole sequence there. F E minor, A minor to 7. F, F to E7, A minor, G. Now it does that C to F thing again, and this is the turnaround. C, C, F, F. C, C, F, F. C, twice as long. G, F, E minor, D minor. Whole thing that we just learned starts over again. So look at that turnaround. It's G, F, E minor. D minor, which I also play that way a lot. So, uh, G, F, E minor, D minor, whole thing starts over again. Um, and I'm going to do it now, and I'll say the chords out loud, okay? And this would be a good point in the video where you could play it over and over again if you need to get familiar with the progression. Here we go. C, C, F, F. C, C, F, F. C twice as long. F, the A in the bass. Starts over. C to F, F. C, and F, F. C twice as long. F. Next section, F to E minor. F, E minor. A minor to D7. A minor to 7. F to E7. F E7. A minor. A minor to G. Starts over the whole thing again. C to F F. C to F F. C twice as long. Now the G F E minor D minor. And there you have it. That's the main part of the song. Um, there's a weird bridge with some weird chords. I'm going to teach it to you. But first, I'm going to teach you the uh, kind of outro of the song. That way, as a beginner, you could still play a lot of this stuff, except for the bridge. So, you know, this is the... Uh, uh, Hold me close now, bumpy doo doo. So... Hold me close now, time to dance Da, 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 da. Da, 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 
Okay, and so that's F E minor, D minor for and. So check it out, D minor for one, two, three, four and. So the and of four, you're playing in E minor. Check it out. F E minor to the D minor. For and F D minor. Now this is a chord that you can you can just play G. But what's really going on is A is in the bass, and it's a cool uh, piano chord that happens a lot. And basically, you have to change the way you play a G chord. But it's a great chord to know. So ring finger on the A. That's the bass note. Okay. It mutes the A string. So, oh, well, you could play. That'd be the easiest way to play it, actually. You play a G, like the F shape for G. I just figured it out by looking at it. Um, and you can play the open A in the bass there. Because I play that slash chord. You know, because you can play it all over, you need to use your ring finger. But just for this one, since A is an open string, you can play five, four, three, and then A in the bass. So check it out. F E minor, D minor, E minor, F, E minor, the G over A. And when you play that G over A, if you're playing it this way, try and, try and mute that E string with your thumb there. That's, that way you can just strum the whole thing. down to F, E minor, D minor, starts over. And so one thing, you know, you can add a little vocal melody by going, so it's the open high E of that C chord. And then I'm adding my pinky to the third fret of the B. Ah, sorry. Because that's the melody. So I'm just getting it in there with the chords. Okay, now we got to learn the bridge, and it's, a, it's bar chords. So we're going to start here on the fourth fret bar chord, which we can call that A flat major. Up a whole step. So it's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then G minor, which is another bar chord, no middle finger, to C minor. So. So check it out again. A flat, B flat, G minor, C minor. Okay, then A flat again for twice as long. Up a whole step for twice as long. Now it does a diminished chord, but it's not that bad, and it does happen. Um, diminished chords happen. Uh. Then, into that last section I taught you of the... <laughs> okay, so check it out. Here's that whole bridge. Uh, well, first, let me show you that diminished shape. It's B diminished. 
So our middle finger's on the B note. Ring finger is on the third fret of the D string. Index finger is on the first fret of the G. Pinky is on the third of the B. So it does that for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it goes up a minor third. It's actually the same chord, but we can just, you know, you can call it D diminished, but it's the same, all the same notes. Um, for eight counts two. Okay, so here's that bridge. Twice as long. B diminished. D diminished into that final section. That was it. Hope you got something from that. Thanks so much for hanging out. Link down there for the website. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.